I'm 20 years old and I never went to Trader Joe's and I went today with my family. Here's a haul. I don't know why I'm explaining Trader Joe's like not everyone in the world has seen it but in my opinion Trader Joe's is like the child of a Whole Foods and an Aldi's with an influence of a farmer's market that's my like I think that's as spot on as it gets so without further ado I'm gonna show you guys what I got of course we're gonna try them too you're gonna see my reaction to all of these so first and foremost they're like foods and non-foods in here i do wear makeup and i hate having to bring a bottle of micellar water all the time and i always thought i was like man why can't garnier garnier whoever these people are why don't they have wipes maybe they do but i just have never seen them trader joe's has them trader joe's has micellar water makeup wipes and they're way better than regular Neutrogena makeup wipes because they have like chemicals and stuff and you don't want all that on your face, especially with it taking off your makeup as well. <clears throat> oh, I got tatted. I forgot to tell you guys. <laughs> so you guys obviously can tell that I love music and I play trombone, which has a bass clef. So we had this idea. At first it was going to be a bass clef right here, right? But the tattoo artist I was working with was saying, uh, eh, if you get it too small over time, it'll just be a big blur and it's not gonna make any sense. So I was like, okay, I'll get it bigger. So we started looking at designs of base clefts and we saw this that had like vines wrapped around it. And I already told them of the idea of having like vines wrapped around my arm. We're still in the healing process. So it does look a little dry up here. <laughs> he did great work. Here's a couple of pictures I'm going to insert in here. Uh, we started on the first tab. We got everything done within the same day, five hours. Turns out I have a pretty high pain tolerance. It wasn't too bad. But he did have to shave my arm. And in my 20 years of living, I have never shaved my arm. And my arm, when it's like growing back, it's hair. It's like, whoa, what's going on? So there are some bumps here. Other than that, it's a base cleft that wraps around my arm and stops right at my wrist. We've gone through a little bit of peeling. There's still some here. I can't really, I don't think you can tell. Um, the details are really nice. I really love all of the leaves and how some of them are a little folded like this one. That one's like one of my favorites and just the little swirls. And I got another one I got made in Chicago like a Barbie doll like my sister's but the Chicago is a different font from the made in it looks like this I don't know if you can see that but yeah but that did not take too long my back tattoo took much shorter than it did with this one but in total it was about a five to six hour um, session and a great price too so without further ado that's up. That's all my updates that I have. The same theme, you know, cosmetics. There was this vitamin C firming body butter that looks really nice. Um, I love all things body butter and shine and moisture on skin. Oh, it smells really nice. It says um, a bright clementine scent, and I do love clementines. I do love good cutie. So we're gonna go with that. That's that's really nice. That was actually only like six bucks. So pretty decent. As far as scents go, I also really love lemongrass. I actually have lemongrass in my um, hair oil that we use. This one is a lemongrass coconut body oil. This was only like, $4 
I can sleep to Trader Joe's. I always see Trader Joe's all the time and I don't know why I never went, but now I have. I feel like a loyal patron, even though I've only gone one time. I haven't opened this, so I haven't really smelled what it smells like, but it's, I know it's gonna smell very tropical. It's making me think of maybe a little bit of pina colada, citrusy, but also very sweet, but it's body oil. So, <laughs> it moisturizes the skin without being greasy. Whoa. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it right there. I have been looking for that exact same smell on my body because it's only some that you only have in hair. That's it. That's definitely it. You're gonna be sick of me. Every year around Christmas time, they always have kettle corn chocolate drizzle popcorn. Trader Joe's has strawberry, like chocolate drizzle, but with strawberries. So I'm pretty sure they're like freeze dried. Little freeze dried parts of it. That's good. Yeah, I like that. I like that the um, the strawberries have like a little bit of like the zest to it. I like that. Eight out of ten. Um, please don't get on me, but I love chips and chocolate. And you're probably like, yeah, everyone likes chips and chocolate. No, chips and chocolate. So when I saw they had these clusters with sea salt potato chips and they were covered with chocolate, I had to get it. I had to. They also have corn chip dippers, so like Fritos and mini pretzel nuggets. What could possibly go wrong? Wait, oh no, it's all together. <laughs> it's all together. It's not just potato chips or, oh. Sea salt potato chips, corn chip dippers, and mini pretzels mixed into make like milk chocolate. So, oh. There's a lot going on. So upon first taste, you get hit with the chocolate, of course, but then there's the sea salt. And then you've got the potato chips. And then near the end, you've got the aftertaste of the Fritos. The pretzels are in there. They like, they poke out, in and out while you chew. But that release, that last taste, it's gonna be those Fritos lingering on your, uh, on your tongue. Six out of 10. So sorry. I like licorice to an extent. They're not my favorite, but if you give me a good flavor, I will stay true to them. There was this brand at the dollar store that I oh so loved. And in high school, one of my friends had these watermelon licorice. It wasn't Twizzlers, it, they weren't Red Vines, it wasn't the Wallabies. It's none of those. I tried. I can see it, but I just don't know what the what the the name is. And she had them, and I was like, "Where did you get these from?" And she made and she let me try them. And she's like, "They're from the dollar store." And ever since I, I got them, I had them. Then they came out with um, lemonade ones, and then they just disappeared at the store. And I have no idea where they are now. So <laughs> I have to mourn the loss of trying to find other ones. Trader Joe's trio of soft. They've got raspberry, mango and green apple. So these remind me of the Wallaby ones, the Wileys. Those are good. They have a limited time lemon one and those are great. So I'm gonna try each one of them and rate which ones I like. This one's the mango. See, you have to have flavor when you're making an extremely dry candy. Because what's all this work for if it's not even tasteful? The mango is good. I like it. It's faint, but it's not potent. Like, if you had, let's see, if you ever had a mamba, but water it down, it's like this. And they're a nice snack. They're not too sweet. 
they're not too dull. I like it, you could just snack on these. And plus, I think people like licorice because they're pretty healthy as far as candy goes. Honestly, I might be biased and I might like the green apple more, but one at a time. <coughs> I need some water. It's nice and cold too. Palette is cleansed. So, on to the raspberry. It looks, you know, same old, same old, regular, regular. <laughs> the second I told you that, my battery died. Mm, I'm not, let me give it a sec. It's not bad. It's an acquired taste, that's for sure. It's like, maybe the raspberry ones are a little harder to get into. Okay, taste wise, it's not, it's a little more watered down than the mango one. <laughs> this is a workout. It's in the middle. I just have to feel all three to see where I stand. Number three. No. You know how some things are like you eat too many sweets and you change different tastes and stuff? Maybe this is that thing. But, or maybe this just isn't doing it for me. This tastes like grass. Yeah, um, mango, raspberry, green. That's my lineup. Um, that green apple was a disappointment. We were all rooting for you. Who's shocked? Who's shocked that I got something lemon flavored? Lemon elderflower soda. A sparkling beverage flavored with lemon juice and elderflower essence. Do I know what elderflower smells like? No. Do I know what it tastes like? Also no. But wouldn't that I think there I think it was only like six dollars for these. So we're gonna try them out. I hear a lot about Trader Joe's, but more importantly I hear a lot about Trader Joe's uh T V dinners and like stuff you can put in the oven. So I saw this butter chicken and rice and we're gonna go put that in the microwave and see how it tastes. Cause I am pretty hungry. Let's go. Okay, we're back and we've got butter chicken and basmati rice I'm gonna stir it up so the rice gets all of the like gravy and stuff it smells good hot <laughs> see the steam coming off of the plate drink here she's so cute look at her look at it That's good. <laughs> Wait, let me stop playing. I like the spice. Like, it's not spicy, but you can tell that there is spice. And that does not happen a lot in microwave meals. <laughs> the rice is perfectly firm. There are some types of rices out there that are more softer than others. Now, I've never had Balsamati rice before. But, it may have, there's probably better rice like this cooked. Cause like I said, this wasn't microwave. For a microwave meal, very, very good. Wash this down. Moment of truth. I'm betting for this to taste like a very flowery lemonade with a hint of Sprite. Cause you know it's bubbly, I, I don't know. 
exactly what I thought. Fizzy, perfectly sweet and refreshing soda, and it is. It's like, it's fizzy, but it's also a little flat. So it's not terribly like carbonated. If this is your thing, it's only got 15 grams of sugar. I don't know how much there is in Sprite, but if you want a healthier alternative, here's your person. Here's your thing. Oh, those Ozzy Pops? I've never had those before. Maybe try those too, because I've heard, I've heard great things. Izzy Pops. Ozzy Pops. Izzy's are a different brand. Ozzy is the other brand that I'm talking about. They're both the same thing. Shut up. Maple Pancake Puffs? Shut up! Like, puff that tastes like pancakes? Why not? And they're vegan and they're gluten free. Ooh. Smells really good. The smell really hits you. Okay. Have you guys ever had multi meal? I really hope some of you have, because if you've had multi meal before, it tastes just like this. It's not too sweet, it's not too puffy. This kind of puff isn't the kind to instantly melt in your mouth if that's your sort of thing. It eventually does, you just gotta crunch it first and then it eventually will start evaporating. So do also have ice cream for dessert and it is cookie butter. And if my guess is right, it should favor Biscoff butter. And I love Biscoff butter. If you've ever had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it will never be the same if you have a Biscoff and jelly sandwich. I promise you, I promise you that. Go to your local Walmart, Target, Meyer, Kroger, Aldi, wherever you go to get your groceries, find Biscoff butter or the generic brand. It's the same thing. The economy is terrible out here. So you gotta do what you gotta do. We all gotta eat, right? Make yourself a Biscoff butter and jelly sandwich. Chef's kiss, chef's kiss. Chef's make out, honestly, <laughs> let me stop. My thing with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, I like an equal amount of both. Some people like more jelly than peanut butter. Some people like more peanut butter than jelly. I just like a healthy balance of both. It's supposed to be a healthy balance of both because they're like, oh, peanut butter and jelly, but you can make it whatever you want. So as long as it has peanut butter and jelly in it, it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, another one, peanut butter and honey. That's like if you don't have jelly. And I was like, I still want something sweet and savory. So the peanut butter and honey sandwich is actually not too bad. You just, with honey, it's really thick. It's not as spreadable as jelly. So the thing is, you just kind of have to put the, the honey on the peanut butter, like as much as you can. Cause if you keep spreading a lot of honey on dry bread, you're gonna ruin the bread. My chef tips, and I'm giving you those for free, so write them down. All right, I just ran, <laughs> I ran down two flights of stairs. From my room to the main floor to down to the basement. <laughs> I worked off that butter chicken, let's just say that. Hopefully I can, yeah, okay. I love when ice creams, you can go right into it with a spoon. Whoa, it's like ribbons. They're like, you know, ribbons of the cookie butter in there. This will be done within the week, yes. Trader Joe's has outdone themselves with this one. Let's rally everything up. First place, we've got the cookie butter. Second place, butter chicken and rice. Third place. No, that's a lie. Third place. Chocolate drizzled popcorn with strawberries. That's third place. Fourth place. Maple pancake puffs. Fifth place. Lemon elderflower sparkling. Sixth place. Snack clusters. And last place. It's gonna be these. Now, if it's 3 a.m. and I wake up 
in the middle of a weird dream and I see them on my nightstand. Will I eat them? Of course. Why else? That's what good snack scenarios are for. If it's a completely mid snack, it's gonna be top tier if it's the last thing. Just hold off until it's, if these are really good, if you're on your last leg. I'm gonna try the cleanser wipes, the body oil, the firming body butter as well, and let you guys know in the next episode, video, wherever you see me. And I hope you enjoyed this haul. I'm gonna devour the rest of that ice cream. I'm not, but I'll definitely put a dent in it. And I will see you guys next week. Love you, bye!